Hello parents, welcome to the 2021 school year. My name is Donna Matthews and I'm the teacher for section 901 life skill support. I've been at Baldy since 1993, which makes it my 28th year at Baldy Middle School and my 30th year with the school district. For most of my career here at Baldy, I've taught learning support students, but this is my seventh year teaching the life skills students. And I truly love this population. So life skills has several domains, but our focus is on functional academics, which includes reading and math. In our reading and math group, students are grouped according to levels. Our textbooks are the Reading Mastery textbook and the Connecting Math Concepts textbook. As you know, I've been testing for a couple weeks and I still have until October 9th to test and meet with parents uh, about our digital learning plans. So within the next two weeks, I plan to get packets out for our students, which includes the textbooks and a notebook for journal writing. So I want to get these textbooks sent home within the next two weeks. At this time, I'd like to go over this slideshow with some important information for parents. Our life skills classroom is section 901, but our whole department is made up of autistic support, multiple disability support, and intensive learning support. Our teachers are Ms. Falcione, Ms. Laseth, Mrs. Sweeney, Ms. Hoger, Ms. Botner, Ms. JJ, and Ms. Logan, and also myself, Ms. Matthews. Also, to support our department, we have a speech therapist, Mrs. Nolte. We have an occupational therapist, Monica Lancet, physical therapist, Carolyn Sumal, hearing therapist, Maureen Cerulli, Dr. Cavallo is our school psychologist, and we have Ms. Murtha and Ms. Kelly our school nurses. Last but not least, we have our special education compliance monitor, Ms. Ahern, and all of these people are here to support our students. Terms we need to know. The first one is live. So when students are on live, they are required to log into live sessions using the link that's in our Google Classroom. During that time, students are engaging directly with the teacher and their fellow classmates. The students access our Google Meet by going to our Google Classroom and just clicking on the link that's provided there. It's encouraged that the students have their cameras on, on to ensure active participation. But I tell students that if they have to use the restroom, they need to be excused for any reason. They can turn their cameras off until they're done. During live instruction, students may be placed in small group breakout rooms. And this will happen when students are in their reading and math groups. They may break out with one of the classroom assistants to uh, work with her. So they may be in live instruction. They may be placed in small breakout group rooms with other peers to encourage student collaboration. Teachers will check in on groups and monitor as they would in the classroom. Another term you should know is flex. Content flex time is student directed and student paced. So Baldy has recently purchased a research-based reading and math intervention. As soon as the as soon as the teachers are trained in this intervention, we will have this available during flex time. But other examples of flex include, but are not limited to, watching a video and responding to questions, responding to a question on a teacher discussion board, working on a writing assignment or journal activity, watching a math tutorial and completing accompanying questions, engaging in a self-directed family-inclusive science lab and completing accompanying questions, Completing a virtual map activity and sharing the assignment with your teacher on Google Classroom. Those are examples. They may not be required by your child. Here are some school expectations, but I'll just point out ones that are specific to our class. 
attendance. Of course, it's uh, expected that students attend virtual school as if they were in, you know, if, as if they were attending in-person school. Flex work, I just mentioned, that's a time where it's student directed and sites will be available for students to access. Grading, grading in our classroom is based on IEP goals. During virtual learning, I'm not concerned about students um, purchasing lots of supplies. Uh, I'll give you a supply list when the textbooks are sent home. Google Classroom is where class assignments are, class announcements are there, and of course our Google Meet link is there. Class Dojo, I use Class Dojo to communicate with parents. It's almost like emailing a parent. So if I have a personal message for a parent, I can send you a personal message through Dojo. Any class announcements are on Dojo. Important links are on Dojo. Also, any important school announcements. Parent Portal. That's if you log into the school district, parents are able to access information just as students are. So if you visit the school district's website, there is a parent portal there. Other contact information you may need are the principal's email. Uh, Mr. Hostetter is our principal. We have three assistant principals. Mrs. Bragg is in charge of sixth grade. Mr. Mena is in charge of seventh grade, and I don't see, there's another assistant principal, I guess she'll be on the next slide. Mrs. Cummings is the sixth grade counselor. Mr. Mena is the seventh grade assistant principal, and Dr. Flemings is the seventh grade counselor. Finally, you have Mrs. Nusky as the eighth grade assistant principal, and Ms. Stavrakis is the eighth grade counselor. Mrs. Ryan and Mr. Carr are our school deans. And again, Mrs. Ahern is our special education liaison. Parents, if you have any questions concerning this video, please send me a message via Class Dojo. Thank you.